Most people walk past rocks like these every single day, never realizing some of them can hide real silver or even valuable gemstones. In this video, you'll learn how to spot natural silver hiding in plain sight and how ordinary ugly rocks can secretly contain opal, amethyst, quartz, and more. If you know what to look for, the ground beneath your feet might already be worth money. Every day, people walk past rocks that look dull, cracked, or completely ordinary. But what if inside those rough stones, there are treasures that can rival the beauty and value of diamonds themselves? Gemstones formed over millions of years, hidden beneath plain, weathered exteriors, waiting to be discovered by those who know what to look for. Today, we're revealing the secrets of rocks that hide gemstones in plain sight. From fiery opals and glowing amethysts, to dazzling topaz and vibrant tourmalines. These are the silent vaults of nature, carrying some of Earth's most precious crystals within. When most people think of gemstones, they imagine cut and polished jewels in stores, shining, flawless, and refined. But every one of those stones began as a rough crystal trapped inside a rock that looked anything but special. The real art lies in recognizing those host rocks, the geological clues that tell you something extraordinary is hiding inside. Let's begin with one of the most deceptive gemstones of all, opal. To the untrained eye, the rock containing opal can appear chalky, dusty, and pale. Yet when cracked open, light dances inside like captured lightning. Opal forms in cavities of silica-rich rocks, especially where groundwater once moved through cracks and slowly evaporated leaving behind layers of microscopic silica spheres. When light passes through those layers, it refracts into every color imaginable. Blues, greens, reds, and violets, forming the famous play of color that defines precious opal. Many opal-bearing rocks look lifeless from the outside, dry, pale, even brittle. But one small fracture revealing a flash of rainbow fire can turn a worthless stone into a gemstone worth thousands. Another gemstone that hides deep within rugged stone is amethyst. It forms inside cavities within volcanic rocks, where mineral-rich water deposits quartz crystals over time. When iron impurities mix with silica under just the right temperature and pressure, the result is that royal purple color that amethyst is known for. Crack open an ordinary-looking volcanic rock and you might find a glittering cave of violet crystals glowing inside. Some of the most beautiful amethyst crystals form in what appear to be simple gray or brown rocks. No shine, no color, nothing that hints at what lies beneath. That's the mystery of gemstone geology. Nature hides its masterpieces behind a mask of simplicity. Then there's quartz, one of Earth's most abundant minerals, yet also one of the most diverse and beautiful. Clear quartz, Smoky quartz, rose quartz, each variety forms under different chemical and temperature conditions. Often, quartz grows in cavities called vugs within rocks that have cooled from ancient magma or hydrothermal veins. The outer shell might look rough and ordinary, but once broken open, you can find perfectly formed hexagonal crystals that sparkle under light. What makes quartz special for gemstone hunters is its reliability. If you find a rock with small cavities, glossy surfaces, or visible crystal faces, there's a good chance it contains quartz or another silica-based gemstone. It's one of nature's most consistent clues that something valuable may be inside. Moving deeper into the hidden world of gemstones, let's talk about topaz. Unlike quartz, topaz forms in high-temperature environments, often inside igneous rocks rich in fluorine vapors. Its crystal structure allows it to form clean, transparent stones with brilliant luster. Topaz can range from clear to blue, golden, or even pink, each color formed by trace elements and heat conditions over millions of years. A plain, glassy rock might conceal this treasure within, and it often takes a careful eye to spot. When exposed to light, Topaz can refract brilliance similar to diamond, and its hardness makes it one of the most durable gemstones ever discovered. Tourmaline is another hidden marvel. This gemstone grows inside pegmatite rocks, which are coarse grain structures formed from slow-cooling molten rock. To most people, a piece of pegmatite looks dull, just a mixture of white, gray, and black minerals. 
But within, tourmaline grows in long, colorful crystals. Green, pink, red, blue, and even black. Sometimes a single crystal can display multiple colors in one formation, known as watermelon tourmaline. Pink in the center and green along the edges. Tourmaline's variety and structure make it one of the most collectible gemstones, yet most of it begins inside rocks that few would think to examine. A faint line of color, a glossy crystal face, or an oddly shaped fracture might be the only sign that something valuable hides inside. Many gemstone hunters miss them entirely because the host rock looks unremarkable until light catches a transparent flash within. Some of the most spectacular gemstone discoveries, however, come from geodes. Natural spherical rocks with hollow interiors lined with crystals. They can look plain, even ugly, from the outside, coated with dusty or weathered surfaces. But once cracked open, the inside reveals sparkling chambers filled with quartz, amethyst, or even calcite. Each geode is like a secret vault of Earth's artistry, created by volcanic activity or sedimentary processes that trapped mineral-rich water inside. Over time, those minerals crystallized into breathtaking formations, hidden behind an unassuming shell. The irony is that geodes often look so dull that most people would never pick them up. Yet inside, they hold natural sculptures that took millions of years to form, and each one is completely unique. What unites all these stones, opal, amethyst, quartz, topaz, tourmaline, beryl, and geodes, is a simple truth. Nature hides beauty inside imperfection. The most incredible gemstones rarely appear on the surface. They lie hidden in ordinary rocks that most people overlook, waiting for erosion, time, or the curiosity of a human hand to reveal them. That's the essence of gemstone discovery. Not luck, but awareness. Knowing what signs to look for. Rocks with cracks or cavities. Unusual luster or slight color changes. Patterns that look different from the surrounding stones. Even a small hint, a glimmer of crystal, a faint line of color, can mean that something precious lies within. Now here's where things get interesting. The same geological forces that hide silver inside dark volcanic rocks are also responsible for trapping gemstones inside plain-looking stones. Veins, fractures, cavities, and mineral-rich fluids don't just carry metals. They grow crystals. So once you understand how to recognize silver clues, you're already halfway to spotting hidden gemstones most people would throw away. If you see this shine on a rock, stop. That's real silver. What most people walk past every single day could actually be one of Earth's most valuable natural metals, hidden in plain sight, wrapped inside the dull gray skin of ordinary stones. Silver doesn't always appear in shiny coins or jewelry. It begins its story deep underground, forged in heat and pressure, waiting to be revealed by the right eyes. When sunlight hits certain rocks, you might notice a faint metallic gleam. Not the sparkle of quartz, not the flash of mica, but something heavier, smoother, more persistent. That subtle glow is nature's quiet signal, a sign that native silver or silver-bearing minerals could be right beneath the surface. These are the moments gem hunters and mineral prospectors live for. Because unlike gemstones, silver hides with intention. It doesn't shout for attention. It whispers through texture, luster, and pattern. To understand what you're really seeing, you first need to recognize the rocks that hold silver. Most often it's found in host stones like andesite, basalt, or other dark volcanic rocks that have been penetrated by mineral-rich fluids over millions of years. These fluids carried silver, mixed with elements like sulfur, arsenic, or antimony, and cooled slowly inside cracks and veins. Over time, they formed minerals like argentite, chlorargyrite, or galena, all of which contain silver in different concentrations. Look for streaks that appear grayish-black or thin metallic films that catch the light differently from surrounding rock. If the shine stays steady when you tilt it in the sun, rather than flickering like mica. You may be looking at something that deserves a closer inspection. Silver-bearing rocks tend to have a greasy or dull metallic sheen, and sometimes you'll see small cubic patterns. Signs of galena crystals, which often host native silver alongside lead. 
You can also spot silver in oxidized zones, where the surface of the rock appears crusted or tarnished with subtle hues. A faint blue-gray, sometimes yellowish-brown, sometimes even a dusty white. That color change happens when silver reacts with oxygen, sulfur, or chlorides in the air and soil. It's not a flaw. It's evidence of metal presence. The older and more weathered the surface, the more likely it is to show these signs. But here's what most people miss. Silver doesn't only occur in veins. In some weathered regions, silver has migrated through the rock layers and formed tiny nodules or coatings near the surface. They can look like dull gray smudges until you scratch them. When rubbed or lightly chipped, these areas reveal a bright, metallic streak underneath, unmistakable and heavier than anything else around it. That's the telltale signal every prospector hopes for. In rocky areas where volcanic activity once shaped the landscape, keep your eyes on the walls of eroded outcrops, stream beds, or shallow cliffs. Water and time work together, stripping softer materials away and leaving metal-rich rocks exposed. The most overlooked clues are often right at eye level, thin silver threads glistening faintly under the sun. If you see small fractures running through darker rock and tiny reflective streaks along them, it's worth taking a sample. When exploring, always carry a small hammer and a hand lens. Break a small chip off the suspicious rock and observe the inner surface. True silver-bearing ore will reveal fine metallic filaments or specks that resist crumbling. Unlike mica or pyrite, which break into flakes, silver remains solid and smears slightly when pressed or scratched. That soft smear is called a silver streak, and it's one of the oldest field tests used by miners. If you're near water, check gravel and sediments where streams have flowed through mineralized zones. Silver, being heavy, settles at the bottom of shallow bends or behind natural obstructions. In these spots, small nuggets or silver-coated pebbles can accumulate. Sometimes you'll find them coated in dark oxide or mud, but beneath that, they reveal the same unmistakable metallic gleam. Nature has another secret. Where silver exists, other precious minerals often coexist. The same hydrothermal systems that form silver veins can also create pockets containing quartz, calcopyrite, or even gold. The key is to look for diversity in the rocks, different colors, textures, and hardness. If you notice quartz veins with metallic inclusions or spots that glitter steadily rather than flash, you're standing on valuable ground. But silver isn't always pure. In many cases, it binds with lead, zinc, or copper, which means you may first discover it through these companion minerals. Galena, for instance, often looks like a shiny cube with mirror-like faces. It's heavy and metallic. Break one open and check its texture. Some Galena veins carry fine silver particles hidden within their structure. Cal copyright, on the other hand, has a golden yellow tone but oxidizes into iridescent colors over time. Its presence also hints that silver could be nearby, formed in the same geological system. One of the best clues is the sound of the rock itself. When struck lightly, silver-rich ore produces a denser, ringing tone compared to the dull thud of ordinary stones. Experienced rockhounds recognize this by ear. The way the metal content subtly changes how sound travels through the material. The most promising places are often at the intersection of fractures, where mineral-bearing fluids had multiple entry points. These natural cracks act as mineral highways. Silver particles travel through them and crystallize in open spaces. Follow the lines. Look for intersecting veins, color contrasts in uneven surfaces where softer material has weathered away, exposing metallic threads. Silver's natural form is both beautiful and deceptive. It can appear as fine wires, branching filaments, or even delicate tree-like patterns embedded in rock. These dendritic forms are breathtaking under magnification and incredibly rare. Everyone tells a geological story millions of years in the making. Even small fragments can be valuable. Unlike other metals that require heavy refining, native silver can be cleaned and shaped with minimal processing. That's why it's so sought after. It's both a scientific wonder and an investment-grade metal straight from the earth. But finding silver requires patience. Many who search give up too early, mistaking dull oxidation for worthlessness. Yet beneath that rough outer skin lies the same element that shaped ancient economies.
powered early industries, and continues to hold intrinsic value today. The very metal that once fueled trade routes and coinage still sits untouched in forgotten hills and silent valleys. Every prospector's dream is the moment of discovery, when you crack open an unassuming stone and see the unmistakable gleam of metal inside. That moment doesn't happen by chance. It happens because you noticed what others ignored. If you ever spot that smooth, steady, metallic shimmer on a rock, the kind that doesn't flicker or sparkle like ordinary minerals, pause for a second. Don't kick it aside. Examine it, test it, respect it. Because you may be standing in the presence of real silver, a piece of Earth's purest natural wealth. Silver is more than just a precious metal. It's a symbol of endurance. It reflects not only light, but history, the story of our planet's inner workings, pressure, heat, and time. Each vein, each fragment is a whisper from the past, waiting to be rediscovered. And for those who listen closely, those who stop, observe, and dig just a little deeper, the earth still rewards them, just as it has since the first prospector lifted a shining rock from the dirt. Silver rarely announces itself, and neither do gemstones. They hide behind dull surfaces, dusty crusts, and ordinary shapes, waiting for someone who knows the signs. Next time you're near an old mine, a stream bed, or volcanic rock, remember, value doesn't always shine on the outside. And chances are, you've already walked past more treasure than you think.